Let's take a look at the expected results of running the code in this LabVIEW project. Here we have PC main runs on your PC host. Here we have FPGA main that's running on the FPGA target. Let's open up the block diagram and set up some probes so that we can display the waveforms of these FPGA signals. I'm looking at the button zero state and then I'm going to look at the inverted version of that. Let me rename this to INV button. So that's our inverted button zero. Let's also take a look at displaying the onboard clock waveform. Let's go ahead and run PC main. And the PC toggles the FPGA input we see our clocks, our simulated clock cycles, and then we see the button zero is being toggled once every clock cycle. Now for interest, I'm going to convert this to a conventional while loop. We notice what initially seems like strange behavior. In this case, button zero seems like it's no longer changing. If we configure the desktop execution node to require two clock ticks instead of single clock tick. This effectively slows down the rate at which the input is toggling and now the FPGA VI can see that.